Hi everyone and welcome back. Lastly we learned about barcode detection module. Today we are gonna start to a new module which is Aruco markers module. Aruco markers are the QR codes of the computer vision area. These are used for really accurate projects. For example, Aruco markers mostly used for industrial applications, for robotic areas, in the um, also for camera calibration in augmented reality projects. These are mostly used. Uh, what we are, why we are talking about the accuracy because uh, these specific uh, markers, these Aruco markers are very easy to detect. That's why in the robotic areas for really accuracy is needed. Those kind of areas Aruco markers are very useful. Also there is already a video in my YouTube channel which is focusing to these Aruco markers. In there also we made an example, augmented reality example. Uh, you can also check that video. But uh, just simply I want to talk about why we need these Aruco markers at the beginning. And uh, in this video we are gonna focus to the um, initialization of the dictionary because there are uh, many type of the Aruco in OpenCV library included. So we are gonna focus to the dictionary and also we are gonna make a simple example about the uh, drawing, uh, drawing some, generating some uh, these Aruco markers. Also the functions according to your uh, OpenCV version they are can be changeable just to warn you before starting uh, so also we can maybe check about this predefined dictionary in this video we can get the uh, dictionary a specific dictionary then we can also simply just draw that marker also in the next videos we can uh, detect the uh, Aruco markers maybe in real time we can try to detect and uh, draw uh, the markers in the image in the output okay well, uh, I just used the 4.8 but uh, according to your um, version maybe it can be changeable these functions just but just the name is changing because i remember in previous versions the generate image marker was written like a draw marker like that yeah anyway um yeah simply we can directly switch to the code part first of all we are gonna get the dictionary there are many dictionaries in the opencv included which is uh, uh including the different kind of uh, aruco markers then uh, this is gonna just generate this is gonna just draw the mar uh, marker which we are specifying so we can switch to the code part first of all all we need to do is just first of all uh, maybe just um creating an image which is gonna be our markers at the end uh marker we can say then we can call aruco and dictionary so this is gonna be our dictionary then all we need to do is just calling this uh, aruco and generate not generate but uh, get predefined dictionary and uh, this is already overloaded function but we need this one so here uh, there is let me go to the maybe dictionary directly just we need uh, there are many kind just we can go here you see here uh, many kind of uh, Aruco types for example this is meaning 4 times 4 is just representing there are uh, 4 square in the row side 4 square in the column side so 50 is just representing how many Aruco uh, Aruco including in this kind so 50 Aruco is gonna give you so we are using this dictionary for example so maybe we can just copy this because this is the simplest one we can continue with this one and uh, after that all we need to do is just uh, calling the specified with the id because uh, maybe just uh, calling aruco and um, just uh, generate image marker we need to give the dictionary which is we already defined dictionary and the id is representing from 0 to 49 because there is 50 in this in our dictionary we have 50 aruco inside this dictionary so we can we are limited until 14 until 50 so we cannot give the number above of this limit so we can give maybe just 10 after that uh, side pixels side pixels as said in here size of the image in the pixels which size you want to see at the end maybe simply just 200 we can say and after that the output array image which is gonna be our marker image maybe just typing marker image and putting our output because it's gonna draw at the end with this output and the last one is just border bits so this um, bit of the border for example we don't wanna see directly the Aruco with the edges maybe we can put some offset so it's defaultly one and maybe we can keep like that so don't no need to define 
um, then we can just simply calling the im show and calling aruko and um, just calling marker image and wait key okay so all is done we simply just define our dictionary we want to use this dictionary which is uh, four by four square let's run first of all you see here uh, I cannot make bigger let's make it bigger just calling named window um, Aruko we defined just zero which is normal window and calling that okay now it can be bigger here uh, as you can see here there's four square one two three and the four square in the row side and the four square in the column side so this is the idea of the 10 you can get many different kind for example if we just make um, a simple for loop start from 0 to 49 then uh, I plus plus and inside this for loop simply we can try to see each Aruko marker in this dictionary just calling I in here and try to run so this is the zero uh, zero Aruko inside our dictionary this is the second third fourth and continue like this so also you see that are uh, they are coming accordingly so after 49 is uh, exiting with the code zero but if we try to reach out of boundary of course it's gonna crash so for example let's try to get 55 you see it crashed because we defined our dictionary until 50 so if you try for example a huge dictionary which is 1000 and come back again and 5 by 5 we are defining our articles so let's try to reach 9 999 so it looks like this but if you try to reach 1000 or 1001 don't know yeah 1000 it crashes because it's from 0 to 999 so yeah in this video simply I just wanted to mention how this Arucos looks like where we use them also simply we are learning about the dictionary in OpenCV and we are drawing the Aruko which we are want to see and in the next video uh, we are gonna focus on the detecting part which is also very important so we can also make real-time example like we there's already a video also in my youtube channel similar to that one we can make simple examples about the detection of the articles and for this video i'm done thanks for watching see you in the next videos